Hi there. After this lesson, you should be able to evaluate cube roots of small perfect cubes. A cube-shaped cardboard box can hold eight cubic feet worth of items. However, a mover must know the height of the box to be certain it will fit in his truck. How can we determine the height from this information? An understanding of cube roots will help us solve the problem. A cube root is one of three equal factors of a number. We denote a cube root by using a radical sign with a small three written outside. This number is read the cube root of 64. We must ask ourselves, what number cubed will equal 64? In this case, since 4 times 4 times 4 is equal to 64, the number we are looking for is 4. The cube root of 64 is 4. We can model this using a unit cube, or a cube that is one unit long by one unit wide by one unit tall. We can create a larger cube that is four units wide by four units long by four units tall, or 64 cubic units. Using mathematics, we say that four times four times four, or four cubed, is equal to 64. So, working backwards, we can say that the cube root of 64 is 4. Find the cube root of each number below. Since 2 cubed, or 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8, the cube root of 8 is equal to 2. Since 10 cubed, or 10 times 10 times 10 is equal to 1,000, the cube root of 1,000 is equal to 10. Since 5 cubed, or 5 times 5 times 5, is equal to 125, the cube root of 125 is 5. We can use this information to solve simple equations such as this one. Just like addition is the inverse operation of subtraction, cubing a number is the inverse of taking the cube root. Taking the cube root of both sides will undo the cube and leave us with just x on the left hand side. The cube root of 27 is equal to 3. And there we have it, x is equal to 3. Solve each equation below. To solve, we take the cube root of each side of the equation. The cube root of x cubed is equal to x. The cube root of 216 is 6. The cube root of 1 is 1. And the cube root of 8 is 2. Now, let's see if we can now find the height of this box. Remember, the volume of a cube is equal to the length of its sides cubed. In this problem, the volume is 8 cubic feet. To find the length, we can solve for s by taking the cube root of each side. In doing so, we see that s, or the length of each side of the box, is equal to 2 feet. Good job! Mm -hmm.